hey you guys and welcome to vlogmas day 24 so it is officially the end of vlogmas because vlogmas is vlog every day into christmas so here we are at christmas eve so i just want to say merry christmas to everybody and happy holidays i hope everyone has been enjoying their holiday season so um I'm doing a book haul obviously and this was from Geraldine she gave me some books for Christmas and then I just added a couple of books that I had gotten through the past month or so since I last did my book haul that I've acquired so I just wanted to show you those to you guys I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing a video tomorrow like I was planning to originally do you know a break would be nice but I still really want to film and get those wrap-ups to you so hopefully that will still be done before the end of the month so Moving on, let's get on to the book haul. So Geraldine got me The Wicked and the Vine, the Volume 3, Commercial Suicide. I'm really looking forward to this. This is just kicking my butt into gear to read the second volume. Keisha, do it. So hopefully that will get done soon so I can get to this one and hopefully before the end of the month. And then she got me in this one. I was just like... I picked it up and I wonder why it was so heavy like what was on my wish list that was so heavy and then after I opened it I was like really Keisha it is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets the illustrated edition look at this baby it's really really nice um I really need to finish my reread of Harry Potter I started like four three four years ago and I read up to the fourth book and so I need to read the last three books and then I can start reading these beautiful illustrated editions so there we go and then I was at the dollar store and I saw these and I couldn't pass them up for only a dollar and it was Beautiful Creatures the official illustrated movie companion I read Beautiful Creatures the book earlier this year and I really enjoyed it so I thought uh, flipping through this would be interesting also I did see the movie but I knew going into the movie I'd only read like a chapter or two of Beautiful Creatures and it didn't follow hardly any of that like it was like they only it's like the it's like the um, director only read the first couple of chapters and then went his own way with that movie. That's all I'm going to say. But it was still semi-enjoyable. So there was that. And then I saw this. Seeker by Arwen Ellis Dayton. I keep seeing this around. I haven't really heard anyone really talk about it. But it keeps getting like on Amazon and Book Outlet. I keep seeing it. And for only a dollar I was like yes. So it follows this girl who she really wants to be a seeker. Like that's it. And on the day of her, night of her initiation she's sworn in. And everything with her family and like the, her best friend who she slashed in love with and learn secrets that go down I guess so that's really gonna be interesting I think I'm not sure if this is a standalone or not so I really gotta check on that hopefully it is that way I could actually be over and done with something and then haha one of my Black Friday books finally had gotten in which I already showed you guys that I was currently starting and that is the mouth mark book of poetry I recently um, read teaching my mother how to give birth and it was part of a whole other pamphlet series so it's cheaper to buy this and all of them in a bind up than individually especially since some of them were out of print and so far I don't only read a few poems but so far so good and yeah then the next book that I got is Amphigory also by Edward Gorey this is the third bind up in the Amphigory series well of books of the bind up of all the Edward Gorey books and I really need to finish the second bind up so I can get to these stories in here and I only have one more bind up to get after this although this one has like a really rubbery um, type of paper where the other ones are just straight plastic so this one definitely won't tear as much I really uh, they should have done this to all of them because it feels great and then last but not least the last book that i got is cut and run by madeline urban and abigail Rowe. if you guys follow me for a while i've talked about the series i have it on my kindle i love it and um one of my goals is to start getting some of my favorite kindle books um in paperback form and so i got this one this is the first one in the series that i want to start rereading anyway and it follows this, these two fbi agents ty and zane and they meet up for a case and then they kind of have an interest in each other and you're just watching all this go down and it's so explosive and I loved it. So I'm really excited to have a physical copy. There's like eight books in that series so but they're like super expensive so one month every couple of months at a time. And then I just have something to show you that I got in the mail from Disney with my Disney reward points. I only have to pay for shipping and there's some lithographs for Beauty and the Beast in the Jungle Book. So they're still in here. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them yet. Uh, so 
Um, the first one is, of course, from Beauty and the Beast, and it looks like this. And you do this, and it opens up, and it, hold on, you do this, and ah. So you have that picture, and you just overlay it, and look, then we have the whole scene. I really thought that was cool, and then I have one for the Jungle Book, the live version action. So then, you know, you just open it up like a book, and then, yeah, just take that away. So then you just have this part. Oh, there's more than one. So there we go. We have the original, then you overlay it, you overlay it some more, and that just looks really, really cool. It's just something really nice to have. So you guys, let me know down below uh, what books have you gotten recently, how your holidays are going, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.